guys, it's Luna. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a deck that my daughter gave me. It's one I had not ever heard of, so um, I thought it might be cool to share with you guys. Um, it is called the Honey Night Tarot, and my daughter, I think she told me that she thought it was a Korean deck, um, but I don't know that for sure. Everything in the guidebook is uh, not in English. But it's a very cute guidebook, and I think she told me there was a QR code somewhere. Yeah, there's a QR code here, so you may be able to, or I may be able to go and look and see if they have an English version. But um, it's a very cute little deck. It is square. It's about two and a half inches by three inches. Um, I will get to the deck in a minute, but I wanted to show you this box really, really quick because it's so cute and so well thought out. Um, it's a hard box, and it's got the name Marvoli on it, and yeah, that just says Marvoli as well. Um, it's got little shiny pieces um, embossing on here, and it's like this cute little town. There's like a river and some houses, and um, looks like there's an apple orchard and a little water wheel and a ferris wheel. It's just really cute. Like I said, it's hard, a uh, hard cover. The thing that's so cute about it is you have this little pull to get it out and it just slides out like so nicely. But inside is adorable. It's the girl from the deck. She's featured in a lot of them. Um, looks like maybe the fool, yeah, with her cat. And if you turn it, it's like she's laying in the middle of an opening in a forest. And I just think it's adorable. And she has her little cat. It's just so cute. And then it has like a lace edging. It's um, printed on here. And yeah, it just slides right in here just like so nicely. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a soft closed drawer. Um, then we have the deck. And it has this edging on it. It's like a, I kind of want to say it's like a sea sea foam green maybe uh, it's not quite a blue like the camera is showing it's more of a greenish sea green kind of color um, this is the back it has a linen cardstock texture to it I don't know if the camera is picking that up but it's not very raised at all because I do have texture issues and it is not bothering me in the slightest it's just a really nice uh, you can see it it's a nice texture but it's not enough to interrupt the uh, art of the cards um, it does come with, let's set these down for a minute. It, like I said, it comes with a little guidebook, although it's not in English. I'm thinking maybe that QR code might take you to a version that is English. I haven't looked yet. Um, she also got this bag with it. Um, my daughter had gave me this. I don't know if I mentioned that, but, um, it came with this bag that the, the box will fit in. It's really cute. It's uh, printed on both sides. It's just a little drawstring. And it came with these little plastic sleeves, which my daughter put them in there, but I, they don't fit in the box if they're in the sleeves. So I took them back out of the sleeve. Um, and they were really cute. It's really thoughtful of them. And they, they fit right in there. It's a perfect fit, as you can see. But um, I know protective cards, but I just, I just like them out much better. And I think the uh, linen cardstock will be just fine. Um, I did see a couple things about these cards as I was going through them. I noticed they have in the corner here, the majors have the um, elemental and the astrological symbols over here in the corner. Um, I did see a few typos um, on here, but you know, it's nothing I'm really worried about. Let's see if I can get y'all zoomed in here. Bear with me, it's been months since I've made a video for you guys. I think about seven or eight months probably. I think it was maybe October was last time. I just decided to take a break and step away from the tarot. Sometimes it can get to be like a nonstop, you know, oh, I gotta buy this, I gotta buy this, I gotta do this. It, it's just, I don't like all that consumerism and stuff. So I've been very careful with my tarot selection and my Oracle deck selection for the last seven or eight months. I've only really bought one and that is um, Kat Ryle's new deck that's coming out, which she should be mailing to me hopefully in the next week or two. So I plan on putting it up here for you guys because um, it's gorgeous. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go through that one really well. So um, I'm just gonna flip through these for you and I'll let you know of the things I saw on here that um, weren't quite right. 
But other than that, it's an adorable deck. I just fell in love with it when I saw it. It's just so cute. I'm in my cute phase right now. Um, so the pool is, instead of a man, it's a, a young girl and her cat instead of a dog, which is cute. And then we have the magician who has a bunny. <laughs> it's so cute. But um, if you, it looks cute. But if you look at it, it does have, you know, the wands, the swords, the cup, the pentacles. He has the infinity symbol on his hat. And, you know, it's, it's all there. You got the roses and down here it looks like the lilies, the white lilies. So even though it's cute, it is um, legit. And then we have the high priestess and our empress. The emperor and the hierophant and the lovers. And then we have these cute little horses on here on the chariot. And the strength card has this, it looks like, instead of a lion, it's like this really big cat, which is adorable. And the hermit, this is one of my favorites. Look how cute he is. I just love it. All those little trees in the background and the stars on his robe there. The lantern, his little cheeks. Oh, it's just so cute. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune, Justice. And strength, yeah, strength is eight and justice is 11 in this deck. So pretty standard. <clears throat> then the hanged man, death. It has little bats everywhere. And then temperance, the devil, the tower. Star, the moon, the sun, the cute little dog. So cute. And then we have judgment. And then we have the world. And this is one of the cards I noticed is missing the L for world. It just says the word. So that's just a little typo. Like it says, it doesn't bother me. It's just something I happen to notice. And then going into, let me get the pentacles out for you. We'll just do these one at a time. Here's another thing I noticed was instead of Ace of Pentacles, it says One of Pentacles. And it's the same thing with the swords. It's One of Swords. But then when you get down to Wands, they've got Ace. And when you get down to Cups, they have Ace. So, I don't know, just a little typo. Or maybe just in translation, it didn't quite come through. I'm not sure. But still, cute. And it's not like I don't know what it is. So... Um, we'll just flip through these real quick so you can see them. Um, I know some people probably don't like sitting here looking at every single card, but there are some people like me that do. So if you ever get interested in a deck and you're like, oh, do I want it? Do I not want it? It's always helpful just to see all of them to make a decision before you spend that money. Because I know decks can be quite pricey nowadays. And uh, who has the money to spend unless they're really, really, really sure that they want something? little dogs oh that's so cute like I said I did not purchase this one my daughter did and then she uh, gave it to me she's doing a little purge of her decks I had done a purge of mine a while back those are the pentacles and um, she's doing the same so I got lucky enough to snap this one <laughs> uh, let's see and here of course is the swords like I said and this one says one instead of ace this is my other favorite card besides the hermit. There's just something about the way she's sitting there with the fall trees in the background and the water. It's just, it's just, I love it. That's, that's my favorite. I think that's my favorite card up there. Uh, Three of Swords is pretty typical. The Four of Swords. Five. These are just cute. <laughs> The eight. This is my stalker card. It's one of my stalker cards. Um, it always comes up for me. You may hear my dog in the background. I think she's not happy that I'm doing a video instead of petting her. We have the Queen of Swords, which it's a younger looking Queen of Swords, but like I said, I'm, I'm good with that. And then the key. That's our swords. And then we have wands, which the wands are a little odd. Um, there may be something I don't know about. <laughs> Maybe 
but they all the wands have this little I'm gonna say it's a doll head because it's kind of disturbing if it's like a supposed to be like a human head on the stick um, so we're just say it's a cute little doll head we'll pretend like it's like a Pez <laughs> dispenser or something um, but all the wands have this little head on it um, almost looks like a match in a way but with a little face on it so um, I'm not familiar with this figure so maybe it is something in some other culture or maybe an anime I don't know but um, yeah it's uh, in every card here's our little four of wands with the castle I do like the castle it's weird that they're standing on rocks right there brown rocks I guess it's a cute little hat Reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, the Hatcher. <laughs> and there's those little, I'll call them Pez wands. <laughs> if y'all know, feel free to let me know in the comments. I just don't know why they're shaped like that, but um, it's interesting. And then the knight, the queen, and the king. And then the last one is the cups, which again, they got the ace part right on this one. And then the two, three, three, three cups is always one of my favorite cards to look at in decks. Just like it. And a little four. There's another one of my stalker cards I get a lot. <laughs> Don't you love those that just show up all the time, no matter what? And our little queen and our king. But that's not all because also there was two extra cards that came with the deck. Um, that is the Lost Land and Dreamland. So it's um, pretty cute. Uh, looks like a fairy maybe? On a deer so it's kind of like the woodland maybe and then dreamland is a mermaid so it was a little fish and things swimming around but um yeah and then I don't know if I showed you the back in detail I don't think I did but it looks like it's completely reversible and it has these little knights which I guess is the honey knight <laughs> and uh, it's really cute is that a little yeah there's a little bee it looks like a little bee in the corners and flowers so yeah, pretty cute. Really cute little deck. Like I said, I love the box and um, I don't know how much this cost. I don't know where she got it, um, but I think if you Google the Honey Knight, you should be able to come up with something, uh, some way to find it. So anyway, uh, thank you for joining me and looking at these beautiful cards with me. And I guess I will catch you guys next time. And like I said, I should have that um, new deck coming to you. As soon as it comes in the mail, I'll get the video up in like a day or two. Of getting it because I am super excited. I've been waiting for it for a long time and um, yeah so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be awesome. All right guys take care. Bye.